Hi guys, Lightroom Mark here, and welcome to Lightroom Quicks, where each week I publish a quick tip, trick, tutorial in working smarter, not harder, in Lightroom or Lightroom Classic. This week we're going to be looking at Lightroom Classic, I'm currently running version 11, and finding images by aspect ratio or orientation. If you stick around to the end, you'll actually get some bonus tips in one click finding by a narrative or perhaps a date and your orientation. Working smarter, not harder. Now I hope this tutorial will be of help to you and if you like it please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and uh, I look forward to you coming back in the future. Anyway, let's get on with the task. I'm currently in my library module and I'm in the grid view and we can see the filters across the top are text, attribute, metadata or none and we're looking in this particular folder which is my training images of stock images or local uh, images that I've taken as I've walked around our, our community. So I'm going to be searching in the metadata uh, filter today so I click on metadata and it brings up four columns in my case you may have more you may have less depending on how your library module is set up or the size of your screen real estate if you want to add or take away columns it's quite simple um, on the right hand last column right in the top corner it's very very tiny there's a little drop down add or remove your columns so and i believe you can have up to five columns and how the filters work is left to right. So it will first apply the first filter in the first column, then the second filter, third filter, and fourth filter, but only in the folder that you're looking in. So if you're at the top level folder within your, your, your folder structure, it would search in everything. Or if you click further down, it would only search in those folders. So across each of the columns, we have a a classification a category and it's currently set for date so I'm going to click on there and up comes a drop down and these are all the filter filters that we can use within the metadata library filter and what we want is aspect ratio so you can see there aspect ratio we click there and now in this particular location training images folder I have three aspect ratios if you have more than that for example you might have 16 by 9 as an aspect ratio that will appear in this column as well now if I just click portrait there we go there's all my portrait images in this folder there they are simple as that but I might want to turn around and say show me them all taken with the Nikon Z5 there they are show me them all taken with the iPhone there they all are in this location so it's a very very quick way of finding images by aspect ratio so there we go landscape there's all the images by landscape by a canon there's the image there's only one image in this folder in landscape orientation which has got 219 images with a canon 750d but i could change the column to date so show me all the landscape images by date. So I could search by date first or just show me by landscape. So December the 28th, there's images taken on December the 28th that are on landscape. So it's a very powerful way of doing that. So I don't know if you know, on a Monday evening UK time, I host a Lightroom support group live on Zoom where each week, the first part of the evening, we look at a particular task, a module, a workflow. And that's around about 45 minutes. And the great thing about it, it's live, so we can stop, go back through things, you can ask questions, and it's about us as a community improving our Lightroom workflow. Then once we've done that, we're gonna drill down for about 15 minutes into a particular task particular functionality so really spend some time understanding a particular action a task within Lightroom or Lightroom Classic so we really understand that so it could be a develop function it could be a li library function or, or a map or or a book and please 
email in if you're a member of the community email in the lightroom monday community email in and say mark could you show us how to do that and we'll do this and then the last half an hour of the evening is random q and a's whereas the community we all talk together we all ask questions where i host we all ask these questions mark how can i do this what about this i'm having a problem with that and i will give you my solution to that but somebody else will chip in and say have you thought about this and we all learn together so it's absolutely brilliant so that's that's a monday evening just visit lightroommonday.com it's a lifetime joining fee if you attend you get the recording as well so you can actually go back through that and uh, go back over the uh, narrative that we talked about anyway now on to that promised working smarter tip so i'm just going to hit none i'm in the grid view at the moment but i'm going to go to my collections so i'm going to create a collection now so i'm going to go plus smart collection and i'm just going to type square that's the title and if i click on the filters first i'm going to go to size and if you come down these are all sizes you can do megabytes you can do height length width uh, longest edge shortest edge uncropped and so on but it's got aspect ratio and we can select the aspect ratio that we wish to search for in this case is or is not so we have a negative and a positive search so is square press create and there we go we have a smart collection across the whole of the catalog for square images now for, for easy use I'm just going to duplicate the collection just double click on it and I land landscape it's going to change it to landscape aspect ratio is landscape press save there's all my landscape images across my collect uh, catalog now this is the powerful part about running a catalog based library system i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to do it from scratch smart collection and i'm going to call it landscape cats so aspect ratio is landscape and then i hit the plus icon and i'm going to go to other metadata is keywords contains cat press create bingo there is all my cat keyworded images that are landscape now you can imagine the possibilities we can do portrait we can do square we can do um we can do date we can also do location so we can do geolocation so if i just go create here and i select on the drop down we have source so we can have folder structure or collection structure or publish so anywhere on your catalog rather than searching the whole catalog you can search a folder so perhaps you you're a wedding photographer and you only want to look at uh, smith and jones folder of their wedding a particular aspect ratio of image and the image is keyworded in the particular way so you can look in a particular folder structure so absolute brilliant way smart collections of finding things so guys i really hope you found this of help please consider liking subscribing joining us in our lightroom mondays that's lightroommonday.com where as i say most monday evenings i host a lightroom live lightroom support group or perhaps you need a one-to-one -one tutorial over zoom or in person where we i will put together a custom program for you in helping you work smarter not harder in lightroom and lightroom classic bringing all your images together wherever they are on whatever drive with a whatever device allowing you to get out with your camera again quicker rather than sitting in front of lightroom I hope this helped. Stay safe. Have a great day. Bye for now.